Are you done? Are you done? I said, don't be showing download. Don't be showing my baby bump. I got baby bump too. Will you please stop? You're going to make them sick. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to get this computer fit fixed. Well, you probably tore it up. I probably did. All right. We'll give a chance for everybody to get on. What's Mindful Homestead? How are you, man? He's probably drunk by now. <laughs> I know. With you doing the screen like that. Hey, Sam. What's going on? Miss Rebecca, how are you doing? Hey, Mom. All this stuff's got to pop up. And my phone is not It does yet. it every, every time. <laughs> well, we're going to do something a little bit different tonight. This will not go away. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. So hey, Jennifer. Hey, Paula. Y'all saw hey, on Linda. the title, we're going to kind of do a question and answer for as long as Going possible. Green, how are you? Um, so anything that y'all can think of that y'all want to know as far as hey, Stacy, what we do is garden our animals, um, Cecilia, kids, Larry. homeschooling, whatever uh, that y'all want to know. We're just going to have a question and answer time tonight. So um, we'll just wait, I guess, unless you have anything else you want to share first. Not really. We may not be that interesting to people. <laughs> Ask questions. Everybody doing well? Except for I'm really outgrowing all of my pants. <laughs> oh, all of my clothes. None of my clothes fit anymore. All right. I can't when believe your what's going date? on. We're doing good. When is your due date? December the 28th. So we're going to have a Christmas or a New Year's baby. Uh, Jennifer Heenan, Heenan uh, how are the piglets? They are doing great. They're growing. They're starting to just really go around in the net more and more. So they're I doing was wonderful. really separate seven. How are you? I was really worried about them um, being out there, and they're they're like teeny. They're like teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. They're teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. They're little. They're like one and a half pounds each. They're really really little. So when they're they're out there, y'all know that they're out in our forest area. I was really worried about a hog or something jumping that because y'all, if y'all seen our hog fence, y'all know it's really, really low. And I told Colby, if a coyote wanted to get one of those piglets, all it has to do is jump over and get it and jump right back out. Um, hey, Dad, just so we, I was really worried about that, but but they are nine days old and they've done great. And I, we, I will tell you that Peppa is I won't say she's aggressively protective. But she she is very very protective of those babies. Um, let's see. Uh, they did look cool in that video. See, that's right when mm -hmm. they were born, so that's why they look. We cold. had just found them, so we were yeah. working on trying to get everything to. But they are running um, around like crazy everywhere now. Get them some hay and stuff to bed in because Aiden called me and said, "Mama, uh, Peppa had her babies," and I was like, "Are you kidding?" Like. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. So, Miss Paula, I don't know if we're buffering or not. Uh, if anybody sees us buffering, let us know. We will try. This is the end of the month with our wonderful internet, so you never know. <laughs> uh, PA Swarm King, an organic as an organic farm, do you treat your bees with anything? We do not. We do not treat our bees with anything. Which, like any other part of our organic farm, we win some, we lose some. So yeah, there's pros we're gonna, and cons to it. We're gonna lose bees probably more than most. But we believe if they're hardy enough, they'll stay. If they're not hardy enough, they don't need to be here anyway. Yeah. So we do not treat them whatsoever. Hey, Countryside Acres, how are you? No, Stacey. Neither one of the other pink pigs have had their babies yet. But I will tell you that one, she... Hey, Miss Kathy. Her teats on the front side do hey, not Belinda, how look are you? full yet. But her back end looks like she's really kind of getting ready. I and mean, I can tell she's got some hormonal stuff going on because she kept jumping on Peppa the whole time I was out there today. So we've not had any babies yet. But I, I would be willing to say that I think one hey, is gravy. either like for real in heat or she's pregnant and maybe getting close to delivery. So... We're doing good as well. Been busy. We've been in hurry up and wait uh, mode. 
So we uh, have now started back our busy season of fall planting and and fall gardening and fall, let's see, uh, winter rye and, and grain and oats and wheats for the cows and deer. So we have a lot going on right now, Countryside Acres. And it's fun though. I've been making soap every like day just about it for the past two weeks. There's been a few afternoons where Aiden runs cross country, so we're gone um, in the afternoon with his um, his races. But other than that, I have been making soap, 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 soap. We have been. It's been crazy. It Misty's has been, been super busy. We're rolling with it. And I've been trying to, y'all heard hey, me McLeod. mention last week that we've been trying to get stuff ready for the baby before all the holidays come in. And I've been trying to tie up loose ends, like clean out the kid's closet, get the fall stuff up, get all the spring stuff out, um, stuff that's too little, put in the attic, um, we're doing things like I'm making chapstick one day this week to go ahead and stock up on that. So it has been very, very busy past few weeks. Did you get the baby room ready? She's got a lot of stuff got delivered today. So she's been working on it. The prep stuff is still in there. Uh, it's, it's a lot <laughs> more neat. We've got orderly, to do though. a video on that too. It's like, we, but we have been so busy. We just filled up our freezer too. So it's just Yes. We went crazy. and picked up our pork, y'all. We've got a video coming out on that, though, and we're going to kind of break things down for y'all. And it's going to kind of be like the calf one. Um, y'all can see kind of what size he was, what we got off of it, kind of what that was per cost. And we're going to be doing basically another video very similar to that on the pigs for y'all. The crib was full of flour. We actually got the flour <laughs> organized now, Miss Cecilia. It's, it's actually all put up. It put looks up nothing like that anymore. Um, I'm embarrassed that it ever even got that way. But when I found that piece, I knew it was perfect. So it is actually really beautiful in the room now. Everything looks really nice. So we've been, we have been trying to um, incorporate a part of the closet and part of certain uh dressers for the new baby coming in but she's going to be in our room for the first year at least at least until i wean her so i'm not really worried wiener. about <laughs> <You're> like... <laughs> <laughs> wean her <laughs> i'm sorry that i put those words together uh, oh. oh my gracious <laughs> anyway <laughs> um anyway uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway um so anyway she's gonna be in our room for the majority for for a very long time anyway um so we're not we're not too stressed out about that right now um I, I will have a lot of her extra outfits extra diapers and stuff like that in there but the majority of her stuff that I'm going to be using like through the night and, and stuff like that will all be in our room. So I'm not, I'm not too stressed out about it, but I do have to get that closet cleaned out. Cause it's yeah, like, I have all of the girls old baby stuff and Jennings baby stuff, like the little bumpo seats and all that, <laughs> all of that stuff. My still home still in thought it was fine too. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, fun times. <laughs> I think I had enough sleep. I think that's what it is. I'm like losing it. <laughs> My marbles. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you goodness. still going to do the video on the preps? Yes, we are. We are still going to do that. And also saw somebody ask Stacey if I had a chapstick, chapstick. I do not think I have a chapstick uh, video, but it is really easy to do. There are a few supplies that you need, but the process is super, super easy to do. Um, so I know the last time I made it, I thought it was a little too coconut oily. So I dumped a few out and kind of melted them back down and added a little bit more beeswax. But, you know, I bought, no, I had somebody send me some in the mail. It was a little happy. Yeah. And theirs was kind of like my first one. It was a little coconut oily to me. But the, so there's really no right or wrong way to do it. It it it's really really easy to do. There are some supplies that you need though, so that would be the only thing that I would say. Miss Cecilia and Stacy, and there's one more I asked about doing a video on that. So we actually need to, to do on that. the chapstick video. Is that what y'all? Yeah, yeah, it's it's super easy to do. 
Um, and like, and the ingredients are very simple. You probably have in, well, the beeswax might would be the only thing that you might not would just have around the house. But you can order um, it pretty quick. I mean, we I mean we have our bees, but any beekeeper around can have you some beeswax, beeswax, yeah. or you can just order organic beeswax online on yeah. Amazon. I think we've ordered it before. So, and and I'll go over the supplies with y'all that you need. And it's basically a it's basically a kit you would need um, that it holds the tubes Mostly and then the tubes. Some. Okay. And then it comes with almost like a spatula. I mean, it, a yeah. spatula would work. And then you just pour it over in there. Um, it's really easy to do. I love peppermint. That's my favorite. So that's what I'm going to be doing again is peppermint essential oil chapstick. You need the little maker. And it's though. really easy to do. This yes, the maker thing. makes it like. Well, it's not the maker, I'm sorry. The tuber. It's the little it's like kit. a thing that makes it tubes. Right. So it's yeah. a little plastic piece like this that has a bunch of holes in the top. And you basically take your tubes and you pop them in each one of those holes. And then you sit it down. And then once you get your mixture, your chapstick mixture melted, you they're standing up and you just pour them over in there. I'll make y'all a video. It's, it's, it's pretty easy to do, but to know that you're putting something clean, like in your mouth, it's, it's so worth it for us. So before Livy comes, we are going to get that taken care of. Mr. Becca asked, do you plan on having any more after this baby? Well, Jennings nor Livy were neither planned. No, I don't think any of our kids were really playing. They they weren't. The only one, so we'll share this with y'all. The only one that we were actually really, really trying for. We can, Miss Cecilia. Um, <clears throat> was a baby that we had that was a miscarriage. And that was between Aiden and Harley. That was in actually on Colby's birthday in 2010. And I was 10 weeks mm -hmm. and we miscarried that baby. Um, and we were, we were really trying for, that's the only time we actually were trying. We were so. actually trying. I, I had, um, after we had Aiden, I finished nursing school and was working and we were kind of were like, okay, well, Aiden's three. We're kind of ready to have another baby. And we were, um, we were trying, it took several, several months. I still was not pregnant. I used several ovulation kits, um, to help us. And then I, so I finally did get pregnant and then we, um, we miscarried that baby. So after that, um, I had to have a DNC because of that. Um, and then after that, I was kind of just to the point where I was really frustrated okay. and, um, I just said, forget it. You know, if we're not, if we're not going to get pregnant, we're going to have a baby right now. I want to sell it because we were driving it. It's just smaller SUV at the time. And so I was like, let's just get rid of that. Get a little car. It's just me and Aiden that usually drives around during the day. Um, when we go anywhere. So we did all of that. And that was like in January and February. I got pregnant in March. And then I found out on April Fool's Day when we were in the mountains, April the 1st, that we were expecting Harley. And so that was a big surprise. And I think everybody has been a big surprise since then. Oh. Okay. So. We don't. We don't ever sleep now. We don't know to answer that question. How do you spell her name? L-I-V-I-E is how we're going to spell it. L-I-V-I-E, Livy. So, okay, yeah, she said DNCs are no fun. Yeah, um, had I known today what I had I known then what I know today, I probably would not have went through with that um, and given myself time to naturally go through that process instead of going through the surgery because that was very traumatic. I was very, very upset. So we were kind of talking about that the other day, were we not? Mm -hmm. And I was telling you, like, I cried the whole time. And so it maybe it would have been better to let my body naturally do that. Sam, instead of going we do in need a surgery, bus. So. We actually laugh. We joke about buying a bus all the time. All right, Miss Livy Kathy May, said that is Liv correct. Livy Ann, it's Livy May. That's right, Livy May. And that spelling is right, Livy May. So we're getting excited. We That's got a cool, few, Jennifer. We got a few things in. We got a few things in today 
before her blanket come in and her diaper bag come in because the other ones are completely worn out or either they have the girl's initials on them and then of course Jennings was was like blue blue for a boy so um, I ordered her and it was very very reasonably priced so um that the bird don't even go there about that bird being up the mile. <laughs> we had a, we have, you know we have a chimney so hey Heidi we have a chimney um we have fire chimneys I mean it's, we actually like real fire and uh we have chimney sweeps <laughs> real bad in our uh in our chimney this time of year they just get in there what's so funny is last night I don't know what I was doing we we got the pigs back and we were trying to I don't know what what I was doing outside. All of a sudden, I heard somebody screaming, and what it was was one of those chimney sweeps had, had got into the house, and everybody was going nuts trying to catch this little Start bird with me. flying around. I'll admit, when I first looked at it and saw it flying around, Aiden said, there's a bird, but it was solid black. I thought it was a bat. That was the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, oh, my gosh, there's a bat flying in the house, but it wasn't. It was a bird. <laughs> we got it out there. That was pretty crazy. But it was funny. Misty was freaking out about that thing. I, I, will, I was, was at first because Aiden said, uh, Mama, there's a bird in the house. And I turned around and it was this big black thing flying around in my living room. And I, the first thing that come to mind was, oh, my gosh, there's a bat here. And then after we finally got it and could get our hands on it, we realized that it was a bird. And the, But, you know, it's actually illegal to remove chimney sweeps from a chimney after they've made a nest. The fire will do it for them. Well, typically, this is the time of year that they leave. Yeah. So I was really shocked that they're, they're still in there. And I, will, in there. I, I hear them every now and then, but I'm like. They really don't bother me. Of course, I don't want them in the house, but just them chirping doesn't bother me. It bothers Misty like crazy. Yes, it does. Because I'm yeah. like, they're like right there in, in the chimney. I would rather them not be there. <laughs> but I, they, I read that they do that because. It has something to do with the vertical. I can't remember exactly why they picked something vertical like that. But it, I don't know. I, I went and looked it up because I was about to call somebody and pay them to come get them out. And it was like, well, actually, this is illegal. And I was like, okay, so we're not getting them out after all. So if y'all didn't know that, now you do. We caught a bat this time. Last year it was in the house. It was circling the same thing. <laughs> Yes, it can get very exciting when a creature that's inside is not supposed to hey, be Shirley. inside. So, um, yeah, we actually talked about putting a piece of expanded metal on top of ours or some kind of little top. I just we had no idea. How many years have we been living in this house? A long time, almost six and a half. And have we ever covered up the top? <laughs> nope. We didn't cover up the last. Well, actually, the house we lived in before. I actually would go up there on the roof every uh, every season and put a piece of wood but on it. We haven't the bread. done that since. <laughs> we hadn't done it this one. You can't get up there. Like you have to put a ladder on top of the roof to get to the chimney. Yeah, hey, it feet, is really, really, really high. So I mean it is very high. But I still would rather not have birds flying around in the house. I know. <laughs> I won't I, that will not end. She'll rub that one in. Well, all the time. It, he had to catch it, so Yep. Uh, we had to catch it. We, I think it freaked the bird out so much that everybody's screaming at it. That, it like was flying into yeah, the wall. <laughs> poor thing. It was trying to end his life, I think. <laughs> Misty was screaming. It it flew into the wall and literally just like collapsed on the floor. And Colby was able to get his B glove on and get it. And I told Aiden to get. I was like, give me a glove just in case. I don't know what this bird has. And he brings me back my big B glove. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, expanded metal is what we were talking about putting on there, a uh, true grate, and see if that would just stop it. It will. It's just I got to bolt it down. I'm going to have to put a ladder to get on the roof and then another ladder to get on top of the chimney. So it'd be crazy. It'll be hey, fun. Rehab Life, how are you? But it, I don't know if it'll be as fun as chasing that bird around the house. <laughs> I don't want to chase any more birds, <laughs> which I'd rather be chasing a bird than a snake. We've chased a few snakes. Oh, my here gosh. Hidden Oaks Homestead, how are you? Yeah, I'll take the bird over. It's From the snake. Florida Gulf Coast. I wish I was at the Emerald Coast in Florida. That would sound really nice right now. Duct tape. That's, That's right. right. Duct tape. Hey, Southern Bless Homestead. 
Um, we uh, we've had some great fall temperatures though, so I have not. I'm not complaining. I actually been wearing a jacket out in the mornings to milk. It was pretty it was chilly really nice. here this morning. Yeah, it has been very nice, and it warms up, of course, typical South fashion. But I don't think we've ever had a September start like this ever. Mm -mm. So what we were talking we've had about some really nice. We were on our way to Aiden's drawing the other night. We were talking about how. It's really been a little unbelievable that we're actually having true fall, mm -hmm. which it did get pretty warm today. Um, but this morning it was really cool, which is it's very unusual for our area. Usually all of September and most of all of October is still, it's still extremely <laughs> hot summer. Like last year and the year before, September, we, the end of September, we were still swimming. Yep. 41, 41 tomorrow night. Oh, Definitely need awesome. a jacket. It's supposed to cool down it's cold here. In North Georgia. I think one night. Maybe next. Maybe Friday night. It's supposed to be chillier here. Which don't get me wrong. I mean, chillier for us is. I mean, it's like 50 or 60, 40s maybe every once in a while. So 46 here in the morning. Man, that's nice. Now I couldn't handle Homestead Engraving Business Live. You and Miss Kathy, I couldn't handle. Y'all are that way cold. up there. That's a little much for me. Mm -hmm. There was a guy trying to sell a snowblower today here, and I was like, man, where is he from? He's not, not even, from around here. It was on Facebook Marketplace. I was like, you don't have to give that away. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to use it unless you shoot mud out of the way or something. But no flies. That's true. True, yeah. yeah we have yeah. had like a monster mosquito swarm that stays right at our back do door and I don't, I have, I have literally, we're not chemical sprayer kind mm -hmm. of people. I have used peppermint, eucalyptus, Ooh. Um, Centronella that doesn't work. So then I ramped it up and got this big, huge can of like bug spray, coated my door down, coated the wreath down. And I can't get rid of them. Yeah, they're like they're not going away. Like a sidewalk snowblower. And I'm thinking, I'm so sorry, you're not going to sell that around here. Nice outside tonight. It was a really, really, really nice evening. This evening we moved the sheet. No. Yep. And beautiful, beautiful evening. Checked on the pigs and you put some hay in for Allie. And we just kind of walked around while I walked around. And then you watered the greenhouse. And it was um it was really, really nice. Stacy said the mosquitoes are horrible here right now. They really, really are. I actually had not been getting bitten by any, even though like I'll walk around in the house and just see them buzzing around. I have killed countless number of mosquitoes in the house and i was thinking the other day you know it's amazing to me i know they bite they get the kids more than anything yeah but i was really thinking you know they don't really bother me at all but i woke up this morning and had like three different spots where a mosquito had bit me through the night um mosquitoes are getting really bad yeah that that's probably the only part of really cold that i'm looking forward to is getting rid of the mosquitoes and bugs i don't like spiders so I always walk into every, it never fails. I'm going to walk through a spider web every morning. I go to meal some way, form or fashion. And it just hits me right here. Don't you know you hate it? You know, would a snow blower work on the leaves? <laughs> I might. I need to try that. I'm sorry about that rehab life, man. Everything's been crazy this year. I'm not, I'm, I am enjoying the fall, <laughs> the fall temperatures this year, but. You're right. It has been a weird year. Yeah, his dad's on hospice, too. Yeah. Misty, stop yawning. I'm trying. I told y'all when I stop and I sit down, I have been so busy today. When I stop and I sit down, it's like my body just wants to go in shut off mode. <laughs> and he's up at before two hours before the roosters crow. So I know he's usually always yawning, too, but. For me, it's just like, I guess, just because I run all day, and I, I and when I stop, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> it's like my body just says, okay, you're done. <laughs> Spider webs. <laughs> I can't stand them. I always like walk behind hey, the yeah, couch like that's a, that's a good idea. Take you a stick out there and just twirl it around. In the I, usually let, I usually let the, uh, the, um, the cows walk in front of me, and I just kind of walk behind them like Bob and Weave. <laughs> Sam, are y'all fighting flies every every time? 
every time a spider web looks like you're doing it. I know, man. I can't stand them. <laughs> they always catch me like right here too. I mean, like it always hits me in my face, and then I'm always worried like there's this monster spider, like you know, on those movies where they like sit on the head and nobody well, knows. We it. were outside. We were outside like last week or the week before. Remember that huge spider web? Or the spider web wasn't that big, but the spider was yes. huge. Hmm. I'm not a spider person. And we on. were, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm trying my happy. Hey, three musketeers. Start drinking your coffee. I don't know if it helps. <laughs> I could fall asleep right now. <laughs> my wife said we are just like you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. We, um, what's so funny is I'd rather, I could, you know, if I see a snake or something like that outside, it doesn't bother me as bad. I can keep up with it. The spiders, I can't keep up with it. So I cannot stand them. Especially the bigger they are. They're like just big monster spiders, like those big garden spiders. I can't stand them. They don't things. bother me as long as they don't get on me. When they get on me, then we have a problem. <laughs> okay, so I know this is supposed, to be, really supposed to be question and answer tonight. But I have a question for y'all. Who grows loofahs? Misty picked ours, which hey, she was not supposed the, to. The, Stacy does. Okay. Do you let yours die on the vine? Not me. So like not a whole lot of people do. The naked kid gardener scrub loofus. Naked gardener scrub loof. Is that not what I just said? I thought you said na naked kid. Gardener. I might have. I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, my brain it's too much. When my brain, when my body starts we shutting down, my, too. my brain is not far behind it. Lufa Sam are basically a, a loofah gourd, it's their and they gourd, become yeah. they become you dry them, they become the loofa sponge that you see in stores. She did say, <laughs> "There's no telling what I might actually say tonight." <laughs> <laughs> for the, for the past, I think wiener, since, since, oh, wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Mine are starting to turn brown now. Okay, so you let because because I pick mine and they're green. I, 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 no, I'm on the tractor getting hay. My wife comes up like, "Look, I've got them. I've is got there, the loofahs." Is there any way to save them? Can I, was can like, I no? Can I put them? I, I saw somewhere on the internet when I was just quickly trying to scroll through that I might could still put them in the oven. Mine are still green, but the plant is dead. Oh, our plant is green. They're it's, green. It's booming. But they're like this huge. So I was like, Brad, I was like, that's what most people do. I think you can still let them dry out. I don't know. We're going to try it because Misty picked them. She's like, I did not pick all of them. I just, there's some like this, big, like they're huge. So I thought, <laughs> I thought, well, these have got to be ready. I like, so I just pulled them. You didn't tell me not to pick them. Well, I didn't think you'd go over there and be like, <laughs> I think like six of them. <laughs> She's so excited. I was excited. <laughs> She's she picking cucumbers or something. Four years ago. <laughs> so, so they picked them green and maybe use the oven or the dehydrator. To, see, that's what I was thinking is to maybe put them in the dehydrator for a few days. We had loofahs everywhere. I, I heard loofah trails are huge. Them dry. Well, I know that now. So what do you do with wet loofahs now since they're like green? I don't know. Can what I put do. them in the dehydrator? That's right, milk and plants. <laughs> uh, I want to show you how pretty they are, though. Well, oh, she's proud of them. <laughs> okay, you can put Harley, bring me one, please. Just let them dry, Miss Rebecca. So says. look how big they are. Oh, that's just that's not the bigger one. Well, it's one of the, the biggest ones. So I was like, it was like hanging up there. I mean, y'all look how big that is. Yeah, here's another huge one. They're huge. And I was like, these these are ready. <laughs> and I picked them, but I didn't know they were supposed to dry on there. I thought for whatever reason that you, you skin them like this and then let them dry. That's what happens when you assume, people. Hey, That's what assume happens when you okay, put them back. assume. So, I guess... Hey, fancy farmer. I guess I can put a few in the dehydrator and just try it. Yes, I know. I, that's why I told her they bigger. get bigger. Usually, they look like a bigger. We have never grown them 
before. I I've mean, done research. But you didn't tell me. I know. I didn't think I had to. I didn't think you'd be out there shucking loofus. Thank you, Fancy Farmer. <laughs> Oh, and I found that baby blanket. I was looking for something just hey, to kinda, Homestead, what's going on? Just kind of wrap around her because all of my kids, except for Jennings. Jennings had a blanket. He just didn't put it attached to it. Yeah, he much. did. Aiden loved a passy, but no yeah. blanket. All of the girls love their passies and their blankets. And then Jennings didn't want either one. So I'm hoping that she's going to mm. love her passies and her blankies. Um, it just, I, it provides them a sense of comfort that I don't know. It like they're much more willing to lay down and just rock when they have their passy and blanket, or like if we're in the car and they're upset, here's your passy, here's your blanket. And all the girls, that would pretty much comfort them. Mm -hmm. Um, or like in church or whatever. Jennings, I never Jennings. could do anything with him because he was just so yes, I found her a little blanket that was it's gonna kind of be like her blanket that she carries around, she sleeps with and stuff like that. See, Miss Kim said you assume that I wouldn't pick them. <laughs> so we're both uh, in the in the Oh, fall. that's funny. <laughs> she was so proud of herself too. I was. I mean uh. <laughs> I was like, look, they're ready. <laughs> I'm sitting over there on the tractor thinking, are. what are you doing? I mean, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't know what to do with them. I, I told Colby when we kind of, when we get done with this tonight, we've got a, we're going to crunch the numbers for y'all and do a video for um, the finish up the pig. So that that'll be published when tomorrow or the next day. Probably Friday. Okay. And then. Um, then I'm going to have to do research on, no, I did not pick them all. I just picked. We're like, not doing a loofah video. I just picked <laughs> the biggest ones and <laughs> left the rest. So I'm, I'm going to wonder, I'm going to be wondering like what to do with them and how to <laughs> let them dry. Did I put her blanket back up? No, put it up. It's cute. Look, I put it back. Oh, goodness. So how about that loofah video? How to grow loofahs. How to dry them when your wife pulls them off. It's <laughs> still in the pain. So now we can do a video of when all else fails and you pick them. What do you do with these loofahs now? <laughs> oh, gosh. We can just hang them up somewhere like dry them that way and see if that works. I don't know. I just went out there and went to picking so the real question is, what does one taste? Like? I don't know. It's a gourd, so I don't know. I don't know if they're really made to eat. This kind of like they smell good though. They have a very very distinctive like it. smell. It's a, like a sweet, but a. See, it reminds me almost like an okra. You know, when you smell okra, when you cut it up, it smells very distinctively different than anything. Yeah, else. it is very different. I kind of like it. It's very um, it's very different smell. Oh, goodness. We aren't doing a little bit. You see, let them dry on the home. <sighs> well, I will next time, but. Well, the, like one or they're two. They're already left. picked now. So. One or two left will dry on the vine. There's still like <laughs> at least five out there. They're just little. She just didn't pick the little ones. She picked the big ones. Well, I thought they were ready. They are edible when they are small, same as okra, I've been told. Huh. That's weird that I said. They smell kind of like okra to me. I just can't bother, see something growing, something you don't eat. Well, we really don't either, but the purpose of these is they're supposed to apparently die on the vine. And then you basically peel them like you would a potato. And then you let that, <laughs> that inside is dried out, but then you let it, you make sure it's fully cured and dried out. And then you use that. It turns into like a sponge, like a. It's like a hard loofah sponge if you buy a loofah. Like if you see what or coral whatever. or something looks like, it kind of looks like that on the inside. And you use that to bathe with or wash dishes with or whatever. It's it's really cool process, but. Yeah, it's, if we I grow something, if those. we do anything with any of our farm, it's got a purpose. So that's the only reason we grew them to um, become a sponge. Yeah. 
Well, I like it for the fact of knowing like I can scrub dishes and stuff like that with them. And you have like a natural, you have like a natural. It's, uh, it's just good. Scrubber. You know, you think about rags or we think about all this stuff and unless you're using pure organic cotton all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, the junk that you put on your body is just as important as the stuff you put in your body. Mm -hmm. So. So we're going to try them out. You can use them in soaps also. I did not know that, but that is pretty cool. I'm going to have to look into that. If I can. We can use them. If I can salvage them. Well, we've never grown them. The only reason we grew them this year was actually we came across the seed at a seed swap, either at Stivers or. I think it was Stivers. Was mm -hmm. it Stivers or mm -hmm. was it. um? And they grew beautifully. I mean, they were, they're beautiful. They're huge. Yeah. They're monstrous. Actually so oh, big. They're actually taking over. the ease, the, um. What do you call that? The arbor? The arbor down. It's like pulling it down. So I don't know. We we really, I don't know why we even, we put them there. Oh, yeah, we put them there because we had our meat birds there. And that was a shelter at that time. It's, we just said, hey, let's just leave yeah, them up. Yeah, the ground was really, really good fertilized there. So cold. we just made a little side of seeds beside <laughs> it. And they had, took me like two minutes to plant it. it and they've like, grown oh. beautiful. I mean, they are hey, absolutely Terry, are beautiful. But it's, Henry's I might have up. destroyed all of the time of growth. Thank she you, was so cute. proud. She was so proud of him, though. He's going to be sleeping with Hattie Mae. She on. was so proud of him. Though. <laughs> oh, goodness. It was funny because we actually had to do um, our first feeding of hay was today. We could have went on and moved the cows back, but we're actually putting uh, Josie and Kristoff with Allie now. So they are back with Allie. You know, Josie's been long enough away from her mom, of course, not to milk, but she's following Allie everywhere now, getting her in that good rotation, making sure she understands, because when she is now bred, gotta get her bread. she will be another milk cow. She is so pretty. I tell she, you, she is, is so gorgeous. And then Kristoff, with his dumb looking self, he, he's, <laughs> he's, so so, mean. he's such a... He doesn't he is, mean. He means that... You know how goofy. some people will give you a face like... Our, Kristoff... Is one like just goofy, no expression. He's just like a goofy a, steer. He's cute, but he's just, he's dumpy. He's a fat little thing and he's got the biggest ears. <laughs> and he just looks at you like <laughs> no expression. Like, you know no how you see people that's got the donuts hat on? They're like, duh. Like that's, that's how Chris that's how, is. But I mean, like you said earlier, I mean, his personality comes from. The easiest going, easy going mom, mom and dad and that you could possibly get. So, I mean, what do you uh, expect from him? I mean, he's like. Yeah, the rain is gone, Rehab Life. Uh, finally, we actually have a little, a little, not a storm, but a little rain coming in this weekend. Um, but uh, it's it's been beautiful around here the last mm -hmm. few days. We did lose one of the chicks, and then we lost Three more. I don't know what we lost them to yet. We can't figure it out. I think they're problems. getting trampled just on. Trampled from the bigger chicks because yeah. we had to move them. I don't know, but um, we just not had our, our chick situation lately. Our meat bird situation has been great, but our layers, we just can't figure it out. We've changed some feed. We've got some older hens. We sold a lot of our incubated ones, and then we just too many roosters. There's just a lot with our chickens. We just need to figure out. We spent a lot of times this year dealing with, with meat. That we just didn't spend a lot of time just really like we let one of our little hen houses go that we were using we haven't got it down we really haven't got the new one back right like we wanted so it's just we're just trying to figure out chickens a little bit better yeah because uh we need we need we need them laying like they were we need 15 to 20 eggs a day not five to seven or, or less than that and our chickens have never been up and down they've been very ebb and flow mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't know what's caused that so we're, we're gonna we've got on a new feed but again these are some older hens we need to probably just well and i think probably a, a good bit of the problem is even though we gave away so many of those roosters yeah. there are so many roosters still in there and when you were over there did you see that one chicken i mean she is yeah. like a i mean she has no feathers on her neck I mean, we kind of got that point last year. They're just overbreeding, and they're making my hens look terrible. And I eventually just said, we don't need fertilized eggs. I pulled every one of the roosters out and just left the hens alone. We've never had chicken issues um, um, never, with anything. But it's like never. we started integrating our we hens. We have an egg eater, not impressed. We just we started integrating a little bit, just kind of putting our flocks together. And it seems like 
They didn't. I don't think they like that. It's just terrible. And we changed food. We did, and so, I, I've always, I've always told people don't change their feed, feed. But we were going to at that time going from a conventional to non-GMO, and now pure organic. And then we went to pure organic, which we dropped our percentage protein from 22% to 18%, then to 16%. So I knew they were going to be affected and really they dealt with it. Okay. Up until just the past yeah, few days. It's like the last few days. It's like, bam, I actually went out there a while ago and I said, well, maybe there's a snake in here. Maybe there's just a, you know, big rat I snake or chicken snake to check it. eating it. But I don't know. We're, we're actually, I actually ordered another uh, 25 just chicks today, all females. Uh, Cause we have enough roosters. We can keep a rooster too, but. Um, fisting a, we're fisting to figure those out. Those roosters better. are fisting to come up missing too. We just don't. These chickens are too old. I mean, just honestly, some of them are too old. The other ones are getting too beat, and it's just ah, they all need to be culled. Yeah, probably just cull every one of them once we get these other ones in. So okay, I've seen some questions come up. If you want to go back, yeah. All right. So how are the yeah, piglets? Yeah, thanks, mom, on the soap. The, um, I've been making soap, 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 soap. I sell out every year, so um, soap has been a huge thing around here. I saw somebody comment. Um, How are the piglets? That somebody uh, they know makes put loofahs in their soap, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to look into that. That's, that's neat. How are the piglets? Piglets are great. They are doing great. They We've are sold great. all, well, I mean, of course, they're not going to be picked up for six to eight weeks, but we have sold all but two of the seven. So they're doing really, really mm -hmm. well. Um, we have a, a female and a male left. We truly don't need to keep them, however, we will. I mean, it's not a big issue. We can, but. Um, we really don't need to uh, because we have two other American guinea hogs that are growing. We have our two other sows that are fisting to have babies. We and we got a crap load of pig pork. back yesterday. So we have pork running out our freezer. How much was it in all total? We, we put up about 340 pounds of pork. And that was after we sold one of our pork shares. So we sold a whole so pork. So that was two, <laughs> yeah, basically. too big. That was too big, and then um, we sold the smallest one. All right, and I saw some. Um, let's see. Uh, let's, let's, let's see. Um, my, you know, we hadn't had ours are not molting, which is surprising. They always molted, but you know, even with our chickens molting, we never lost egg production. This was the first year that we lost egg production. Um, Sam, do they do as bad as the meat birds on the new feed? I don't know. You know, this again, that Sam, what Sam was talking about is we did a, uh, we changed our last meat birds to a pure organic feed that was, uh, they were getting a non GMO, non antibiotic. Now they're getting a full GM, uh, full organic. And it did change the way they acted and the way, uh, they the way processed they and weight. digested and processed the, the food. And for the, the way weight. they gained yeah. the weight. So it might just be a learning curve on this feed because we did have to go to a new feed. So, yeah, you know, it's okay. We're going to see how it goes. So, yeah, it could be what it is, Sam. Um, Hidden Oaks uh, Homestead, where do you get your feeder pigs? Well, we won't be buying any more. question from Fancy Farmer. I'm sorry. I'll go back. Um, we won't be getting – we won't be buying any more around here. Our feeder hogs came from a gentleman that's about two hours away from us. Um, now we're hoping just to produce I think produce he's about home. an hour away. Oh, about an hour away, yeah. And he's on – I've got him on standby for a boar. Because I don't have a um, a Yorkshire boar, and I'm gonna probably bring a Yorkshire boar here. But um, other than that, if we have these two these two sows have piglets, we'll have pork running out of our ears. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with all of this. <laughs> I don't either. All right, fancy farmer, how do y'all do Christmas with the kids giving each other gifts? Does each child pick a sibling, or does everyone buy for everyone? On us. Well, ours are still so young yeah. they don't really swap from each other now as Our a family, family right we let each kid draw names because there's livy will be 14 grand grandchildren mm -hmm. so between his 14 or 15 three sisters because there's so many like we can't buy for all nieces and nephews um <clears throat> With us having six, and then there's a four, there's a two, and a two. Um, there's just a lot of them. So they swap names, but as far as right now, ours are still so young. Um, they they don't. Uh, Hidden Oaks Farms uh, or Homestead, excuse me. We just got our uh, through with our first piece and got them back. Definitely a learning curve. You know, once we learn how to contain pigs and train them the right way, 
we don't have a problem with them. We, I mean, they do really good. Actually, I, a guy came and was bragging on how good our pigs were the other day, but it's because we just trained them since they were younger. They finally got at a good spot. Um, Sam, when is the next order for me, Verge? Probably, we'll probably order late December for January, February, somewhere around there. Um, I want to get them before, I want to get them before the craziness. You know, everybody in March where we have, we farm and garden and, you know, slaughter and all that stuff all year round. But, you know, I mean, it's like if you go to Walmart right now, there's always a special on all this fall gardening stuff because nobody gardens, you know, which we do. It's the same way the meat birds. Most people don't do meat birds, but like in spring, that's when they want chickens. That's when tractor supply buys them, you know. So we try to get ours before the Easter craze, I guess you can say. So usually January, February, we'll pick up our, our birds. So that way we process in April. Hey, but Sam, you remember, he's got another butcher day coming up. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a two, probably two or three turkeys in a few weeks. So I'm excited about that. I wanted a fresh turkey. And what's going to be cool, we get the fresh turkey and we're going to have a fresh home cured ham to go along with Thanksgiving. So we're going to have all our own food. Yeah, it's really, really exciting. And like we've told y'all guys before. We've never cured a ham either. So well, well and not only that, I mean, we have worked for years to get to this point where we have our own um, beef, our own pork, our own poultry. I mean, we have worked a, a long time for that. I mean, and it's not something just opened that happens up. overnight. So I'm hoping we'll nail some deer. So that would be fun too. Aiden, Aiden came back from fishing day. He goes, Daddy, I think fishing season's open. I didn't catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> so he's been catching them pretty heavy lately and he came out and he said, Daddy, I don't think I'm going to fish anymore. I'm done. Do you do meat turkeys or a certain kind? Um, there's we have several kinds. We have Nagaserets, we have um goodness, Royal Bourbon Park, Reds, Royal, Royal Palms. Palms, White Holland, and the, the last one's the broad breasted, and that's what we're actually going to butcher. And we have three broad breasted, two or three. One's a big white holland, and we're gonna probably take it on out too. But um that's our goal. Let's go and do that. I, I'm kind of excited when they start laying. Um, they are, got an extra place for Thanksgiving. They are really, really, really pretty. Um, that's my own. Well, the white ones aren't, but the heritage breed turkeys are beautiful. So that's going to be kind of hard for me. I think they're so pretty. And I love the duck. The oh, duck yeah. egg. Duck I mean, even the duck eggs to me, they are beautiful. Trying to crack them. I mean, I, I've, I, have, I think I've really, I almost could get rid of every chicken and replace every chicken with a duck. Oh, we could too. Uh, we we really enjoy the. This was today's that's a double egg. Yoker. Yeah, it that's like a big fits in the palm of my hand. Yeah. It's huge. So we had one yesterday that was a regular size, and then the one day the day before was this big, and it was a double yoker. Please don't. What was cool egg. though is, um, Miss Cecilia, I actually like probably the duck eggs better to cook with. We made um. A cake. A cake with it. And then we, I made something with it yesterday, the other day. They're just, they just it's something it's just about better. the texture. Yeah, I actually like them better. It's truly, I almost like could Misty get rid said, of every we really turkey could. and just replace them all. You mean chicken? Yeah. We could probably get rid of That's right. <laughs> Misty's correct. because And to be honest with you, you don't have to worry about ducks flying out. You can get runner ducks. And, man, they don't fly out. They don't mess with your coop. They don't do nothing. They're, they're, they remind me a lot of the sheep in the sense of, Sorry, there's something wrong. With they you. just kind of mind their own business. Yeah, they're, they they're they great. don't they don't like today. We moved the sheep, and it was like wait 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 this wait. Is so easy. Has anybody ever had sheep? I mean, our sheep are the coolest sheep in the world. Like we can we actually they're very laid back. They're very and, docile, but we've trained them so well. So Misty laughed. I mean, they're laughed. not going to just come to you and sit in your lap and let you Misty, pet them or Misty anything. Misty laughed because she was like the other day. She's like, you just let them walk around while you are moving them. And I've just gotten to where now they're almost like the cows. Well, I haven't it's been just, able to be out there in forever because with the pregnancy and Jennings, and it's so hard for me to walk around carrying <laughs> him with my big stomach. So I've just been like, y'all are just going to have to handle we, um, this stuff. But I did go out there with y'all today. Yeah, and we had a blast. I always love when Misty comes Well, it wasn't so hot either. That was another thing. I would feel like I couldn't breathe in the heat because I'm so big. I'm carrying a baby, and it's like 110 we were, degrees. Um, we were operating four sheep nets, two of the sheep that were in, and then we were putting two new two ones up every time. And one day I just got to the point, I'm like, man, forget this. Let's just leave the two up, and then we'll just move them. 
and we'll put a little alfalfa out and then we have some little feed that they like so and much. They and they follow that feed. They follow the feed and literally I put them, I brought them over and Misty was like, are you going to, I mean, what, I what are you I helped y'all back when they were in front of the bees moving when oh, they yeah. do. But what I'm saying is just amazing to me because they just, they, I mean, they just come right over and I built mm -hmm. the fence around them. But then they, they get in there, they mind it. their own business. There has been times that we've went out there where the fence is down. Well, midnight the other night when it's flooding. They don't, they don't try to get out or escape. Like you cannot compare them to goat whatsoever. Um, so I compare the ducks to a lot like the sheep in the sense that they mind their own business. They do their own thing. They run That's around right, and life. <laughs> quack and the dip their heads fine. and I mean as long as you move them around they're not nasty I mean I have heard the most people say ducks are so nasty um I think those chickens are a whole lot nastier than our ducks yeah hidden oaks homestead uh, the Indian runners we have runners I, I can't I don't know all the names of the runners we got but mm -hmm. I know we I, have I really mallard, Misty made a good mallard. point I literally could just sell sell I could really get rid of all our chickens and, and just ducks. ducks and truly it's to a point where now I'm not afraid to go and buy 20 more ducks, which we have 13 or 14, but some are, most of our mall, some of the ones over there are mallards, but I think we have two female and, and we three can, male. I would be completely satisfied with that. I really would. Cause I mean, so far that one's laying like a champ. Yeah. She, so. they, she's laid pretty much every day unless something gets her egg, which we did find one in the pasture. Um, a few days ago, so you know who knows. Um, how do quail eggs compare to chicken or duck? They're just tiny. Uh, they lay really quick. Uh, if you're going to eat quail, they grow real quick. Quail are easy if you get a small place. We don't do quail. Just we don't because raise quail. We try to get the best bang for a buck, and what I mean by that is <laughs> I can get a bigger, bigger animal for that. So jobs family garden that is hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, rehab life. You let your food come sit in your lap. That's just wrong. It's genius, but wrong nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, we just, like, it's funny. Like, today I was picking up the turkeys, and I was thinking, you know, who else can just go just pick up this turkey? I mean, I got yeah, this big I gobbler. Love the like, turkeys. I'm holding this big gobbler, and he's just, like, looking at me. His head's red. You know, if the head turns blue, he's like, leave me alone. I'm just a claw. You, you know, when a turkey's head turns blue, they're, they're, they're stressed. And his head's just resing B, and I just leave him back in his little... Uh, so yeah, you call it. that then yeah. that's the thing with the turkey. So we eat, we clip their wings and we've been very they diligent about out. doing that. And they still fly out. But, but they don't cause, they don't any, cause mischief. any issue. They, they really go don't. right over into the pasture and they, they walk around and chill. eat and yep. they don't really scratch. Um I mean they really don't. They really don't cause any problem. They don't come up on my porch or anything. It's great. So they really don't bother me when they get out. I mean, at times they do. I'm like, I don't want them to get in the garden or anything like that. I've been a little nervous about that. But they really stay over Never there in feel. that grass and and eat the bugs and stuff in the grass and and don't come up on and I would I really I would not be able to handle it if they destroyed the garden. Or if they were up here pooping on my porch, I'd be like, I'm don't. done. But they don't. They don't. They don't get into anything at all. So we really just have kind of uh, let them do what they want to do, really. Rehab life. Uh, you let your, uh, I'm sorry, not rehab life. I just read that one. Sorry. Cecilia uh, Jansen, do you move the bees closer to the house? For we don't. Our winters are not that bad here. So um, we don't even cover them up. We let them keep on going because. January, we might get a 70 degree day and you see the bees out. So, um, we do not winterize our hives whatsoever. Yeah. We leave them a good we, bit. Of money we though. may get one or two or less than a handful, maybe 20 nights a year, yeah. like a whole, a whole year. And that's usually in January or February. Right. It'll drop down to like the 20s, 20. Five yep. maybe, and then we have a handful of those, and then that's it. So that's that's the coldest I would say. It See, gets. it hidden oaks homestead. Thank you for so coming drop by. said a rooster crowed in their ear today, and they would like to put that. Uh, I'd like to pot that jerk. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if you come to our house, we can give you as many roosters as you want. We give them away because I think we have more roosters in there than we do hens, and that's. Like that one poor little chicken. Oh, my I goodness. Know. I don't know what to do with her. Fancy her whole Farmer. Is showing. Uh, she must be a favorite. Uh, Fancy Farmer, do y'all have any issues with ticks? What do you do? We actually don't have any issue with ticks. Mm -hmm. Here, you can get chickens or red bugs quicker than you can get ticks. Now, I know there's places. You know, when I was a kid, 
ticks were a little bit more prevalent now. I mean, like even our dog, we don't treat our dog. I know people frown on me, but I, we, again, our dog is just like a part of the family. So, but our dog never just has ticks and stuff like that. On She's them. not usually covered in them. Yeah. She does, but she does like to lay in the woods. At she does, but no, no issues whatsoever. It's Southern Mississippi. You have what? Three days of winter and that's all we get in North Florida. That's about <laughs> right. Oh gosh. Yeah. We don't really have a, we don't really have a winter, especially here. Now Southern West up in North Mississippi, they may have a little bit more than us, but we really don't, you know, this cool weather, we've never had this kind of cool weather now. Um, yeah, we like the wine dots. They're pretty, gosh, they're just expensive chicken. And when you buy them uh, as a, even a little chick, they're like double the price. It's kind of like uh, Moran's here. You can't hardly buy a Moran around us. Um, the ones we just bought, we just bought basically a barnyard mix of egg layers just to get our egg population back up. Because we need them. I hate, though, that we have to, we're literally going to be six months out. Um, raising them again that's so henry's honey's garden questioning in your climate why don't you do fall plenty of corn great question you know why we didn't do any hardly any major peas and fall planting was uh we were burned out we had a great harvest for spring and then Good. late i mean early summer uh even a late winter Honestly, and we, we would not out. have anywhere to put it anyway. Yeah. We would have gathered the food. We've got eight. I still have peppers freezers. out there that I need to pick. Yeah. And I'm just like, do I have to go pick the I peppers? Thought we thought about I planting have fall so corn. so many peppers. Uh, we thought about planting fall corn just for the animals. I'm sick but of it's green just beans. like, <laughs> you know. Um, so that's the only reason we really didn't plant another set of corn. Plus, corn for us is. Because we're organic, it's just so hard to grow good quality corn that you don't have to baby. So, um, I, you know, we thought about growing field corn and that the whole purpose was for the animals. But I was like, bump that. I just don't, I don't have time. I really don't. And, and we're, like our gardens right now are looking phenomenal. We've got all our uh, greens planted, all broccoli our broccoli planted. Good. We're fishing, I'm fishing to get some um, onion seedlings. Night, in the, Mom. Uh, I'm fishing to get some onion seedlings in. Uh, some lettuces, cabbage, and uh, spinach planted. So that's that's on the agenda for this weekend. Yeah, she said another reason you need not plant no room. You are exactly yeah. right. Why is Allie moving this late? Or is that Aiden? I think that's the TV in there. <laughs> no telling. Um, you need to go to sleep. <laughs> to feed feed uh, corn from Wisconsin, I would think. They, you know what's so crazy is we thought we were agriculture. Uh, state until we went to Michigan and realized and all y'all know how to do is grow fields, corn, corn and fields, soybeans. Corn fields. Corn. It's crazy. I told him when we left, I said, I don't I don't know that I, I ever want to see corn for a long time. <laughs> but you know what's so funny? Is you can't hardly find organic or non gmo corn. It, it It's almost impossible mm -hmm. to find. So that's another reason it's hard for us to grow. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Mrs. Cecilia you said uh, oh, you're oh. going to have to build a sheet to have all your storage and um, you're running our room. We are. We actually talked about building a walk-in cooler or freezer. I thought about actually buying one like there's a little Graceland buildings and just making it a big walk-in cooler. That's what I really need to do. Uh, no new baby news, Fantasy Farmer. She gave an update a while ago. So, uh, as good far as we know, everything is going well. She's still growing. I am outgrowing all of my clothes. Night, Sam. And um, moving, she... I was telling Colby her kicks are getting stronger and stronger, and she's like doing like ninja kicks on me now. And but I still have three months left to go. So yes, and that's the only bad thing about it. it's to me. I think of rehab life, what you're talking about, with Monsanto. I think that like the dairy co-ops, like the the Sanderson Farm chickens, and all that. Uh, big ag is just. Um, mm -hmm. Have gotten aware if, if these farmers are not being able to grow their own stuff anymore, they're having to do so much for these big companies, which ultimately makes them grow fertilization. They make them do the GMOs. Um, that's like I have a feed mill that's close, and I, I was begging him to to give me some non-GMO and organic stuff, and he I just can't, can't do get it. it either. He can't get it. He he don't have enough people that that needs it. It's just hard for him to do it. So um, I don't know of any cornfield around like me and Misty when we were driving through all those cornfields. It's like uh, you can tell. That's too lush of corn to be eight foot tall for that to be organic corn. There's yeah. just no way. There's they don't they don't do that. So 
Miss Cecilia says she's gonna be fire like her mom just keeps going and going. <laughs> there are some days you just you know you just don't have a choice. You just do. You just keep going. So. Fancy Farmer again says you think this is the last baby for y'all. Ask mm -hmm. the question or made the comment. Uh, ask the question. Well, we were talking about earlier. We um. We didn't plan any of them, so. Never know. I would prefer not to be pregnant again. Um, I was not anticipating being pregnant again after Jennings. And I'm starting um, to get a lot more gray hair here and here, so I don't know if we need any more. <laughs> well, and Aiden is, he will be 13 this spring. And, I mean, you know, that's a pretty big gap. This baby will... She'll be born in December, and then he'll turn 13 in April. So that's a pretty big gap. I've had, have been having children for a really long time. So. <laughs> all right, guys. That's a weird line. We just went all over the place, even worse than normal. Well, it's question <laughs> and answer night, so it has been all over the place. It's supposed to be. <laughs> but the so, kids are bombarding us. So we're they always do when go. it gets close. They know it's time to go yep. to sleep. So. Thank you all so very much for coming on. And Absolutely. It's always fun. Sorry you were a little tired tonight. It was yeah. a long, long day. Well, we've had we've had a, a long pa past few weeks. It really has been. So thank you again for keeping up with us, yawning with us, and drinking coffee. <laughs> so I uh, hope you all have a good night. God bless. Happy, Happy home day, y'all. You got that one right this time. Happy home day.